I'm Chad from Chad DIY and today's project is insulating a basement wall. So let's get started. I'll start by cutting out the insulation to size, including where the window will go. A utility knife works great for this. Next I'll use my foam board construction adhesive to glue the panels into place. I'm just trying to cover the whole surface of the sheet with the construction adhesive. The main purpose of the adhesive is just to hold the sheets in place until we get the furring strips attached. I'm setting the sheet on a quarter inch piece of wood just so it's not resting on the floor. I move the sheet up and down a little bit just to make sure the adhesive adheres. I'll now repeat the same process with the second panel. These panels have ton and groove ends, so I want to make sure to get those lined up. Next I'll cut the final sheet around the plumbing pipes. I'll just use the utility knife to cut around the lines that I've drawn. Once the lines are all scored, I can just pop the piece out of place. Now I can attach the third and final sheet to the wall. This turned out to be a really tight fit, so I have to just kind of work it its way into the tongue and groove. Next I'll use some red foam insulation tape to seal everything off. The next step is to kind of add all the furring strips after I did the insulation. Basically these smaller strips are just one by fours. I cut down on my table saw, just split them in half. A few of these are full one by fours. I had extra boards, so I just didn't bother ripping them down. Um, what I did to start with is I glued these to the, to the foam. I used that uh, foam board uh, glue, whatever it's called. Um, and so I, I glued them down, let them dry overnight, and I'll show you the process for how I screw them into the walls now. I first start by countersinking a hole for the screw to go. Next I'll use a hammer drill to drill a 3 inch hole into the wall. Finally I add a masonry screw to hold everything in place. I'll repeat this process three times for every furring strip. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's project. This is all ready to go to put your finished wall on. Whether you want to do drywall or OSB board, it really doesn't matter. Um, what I'm going to do is a plank wall and that will be next week's project. And when I'm done with that, I'll link it in the, this video description below so you can kind of see the finished product for that. Um, so this is kind of a part one out of part two series. But, I uh, hope you found this informative. If you did, I hope you hit that like button. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks.